Hi everyone, today I will be unboxing my new 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. The new design feels a lot heavier and thicker in the hand, but I actually prefer this because I feel like I get a good grip when I'm holding my device. Another big update with the MacBook Pro is the new charging cable that it comes with. Apple decided to bring back their MagSafe connectors with this USB-C to MagSafe 3 connector. The cable is also woven, which is similar to the new iMac power cables, and this helps with the durability of the cable. Since I got the 8-core CPU, my laptop came with a 67-watt charger, but you do have the option of getting a 96-watt if you add $20, but for me it wasn't necessary, so I just kept the default. The laptop comes with a beautiful 14 inch liquid retina XDR display and one of the main reasons why I bought this laptop is because Apple finally reintroduced the SD card and HDMI port. The device also comes with three USB-C ports and one headphone jack. As for the keyboard, the touch bar was replaced with full function keys which I think is a lot more convenient and easier to use and touch ID still remains in the upper right hand corner. One of my favorite apps to download on my MacBooks is called Magnet. It's a really simple app that allows you to rearrange your windows with hotkeys. After you purchase it from the App Store, all you have to do to use it is just go into your security and privacy, go to privacy, scroll down to accessibility, and enable the Magnet app. Once you enable the app, you should see the Magnet symbol show up on the top of your screen. And if you click on it, you can learn all the short keys to quickly minimize, maximize, and rearrange your windows. I highly recommend this app for anyone who enjoys multitasking and learning hotkeys. The one I use the most is Control Option Left and Right Arrow, which is just splitting my view to the left and right of my screen. If you update your devices to the new Monterey OS, you'll be able to play around with the new AirPlay features. I tested this out with my Mac Mini and I was able to airplay my MacBook Pro to my Mac Mini and use it as a second screen. I can do it the other way around too and I sometimes do this when I want to airplay the sound of my Mac Mini to my MacBook Pro. And here's a sound test of the keyboard. When we were young, running from all things at once without thinking twice. And I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind. The stories I've been told, they never seem to lead my mind. Ooh, this road that I am on. Gotta stay here for some time Time is gone and I grew up I somehow made it through without 